electric flux Electric flux through an area in an electric field may be defined as the total number of electric field lines crossing through that area normally. Let us now get an expression for electric flux through a plane surface of area S and also through a plane surface of area S inclined to the applied field. Case 1. If the electric field is normal to the plane surface of area S, then the number of electric field lines per unit area is proportional to the magnitude of the electric field. This means that the number of electric field lines is proportional to the product of E and S. This product of E and S is called the electric flux and is represented by the symbol phi E. Phi E equals E S. Case 2. If the electric field is inclined at an angle theta with the plane surface of area S, then the expression for electric flux can be written as phi E equal to E cos theta into S. Phi E equal to E S cos theta. Phi E equals vector E dot vector S. Electric flux will be maximum when the surface is normal to the electric field, that is when theta equals 0. Phi E equals E s cos 0 equals E s into 1 equals E s. The flux is 0 when the surface is parallel to the electric field that is theta equals 90 degrees. Phi E equals E s cos 90 degrees equals E s into 0 equals 0. Now, if the electric field passes through an element of small area d s and theta is the angle between vector E and the normal drawn outward, then the electric flux through this area ds is given by the equation d phi e is equal to ds into e cos theta equals e ds cos theta. d phi e is equal to vector e dot vector ds. Therefore, electric flux for the entire surface is given by the equation phi e equal to summation vector e dot vector ds for a closed surface. Phi E is equal to surface integral of vector E dot vector ds.